Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this baking video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make the crumb coat. The crumb coat, if you've never done this before, is a coat that you use as a base for when you are about to decorate a cake. What I have here is two six inch cakes that I baked yesterday. This is just some cake mix store bought. Uh, I baked two of them and I just wrapped them in this cream pack, froze them overnight, and then I'm just going to unwrap it. My cake has this top that is crazy because I need to figure out my settings on my oven, but that's another story. I'm just going to fix that by, you know, removing the top with my cake leveler but what I wanted to show you here and you to see is how crumbly this one is the corners of my cake are just like completely bare and that is because I didn't have anything to prevent my cake from sticking to the edges I was using this cake pan by Wilton this is pretty much the same thing as any other like pan you have to make sure you put butter and flour pan to just prevent your uh, cake from sticking to the edges but don't worry we're gonna fix it we're just going to be removing the part on the top I'm going to be doing the same thing to the other cake and then I'm just going to be taking this round cardboard that is meant for cakes as a base for my cake. For that I'm going to be using a piece of uh, wax paper that is bigger than my cardboard and I'm going to basically wrap it with tape doesn't have to be perfect at all this is not going to be visible and this is just our workspace and this is where we can be messy and all that stuff put it upside down and start working with it i'm going to be placing a bit of frosting in there so just my cake stands uh, still and it's not like all over the place and i'm just going to place my cake on top of that i'm going to be putting some buttercream because i want some buttercream between my uh two layers of cake a lot of people like to add some jam a lot of people like to add strawberries, fruit, but I'm going to be super basic with this one. I'm just going to add some buttercream and I'm just going to spread it like you would with a toast and some butter. Being really careful because it was actually starting to crumble a lot while I was doing it. So just be really careful if you experience this kind of problem. You forgot to add something to prevent your cake from sticking. No worries, we got this. So then I'm going to be putting my the other cake upside down like this because this one has like a flatter top. I'm going to stop the voiceover right here and I'm going to explain to you from now on what I'm doing. I'm going to be using my spatula and I have this little bowl. I'm going to take some frosting like that. I'm going to start covering. If you do have a cake like mine, you do need it. The angle is really awkward here, but hopefully you will get it. Because, well, this could potentially ruin your decoration. Because nobody wants, um, you know, crumbs to be visible. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. All we want is just to lock the crumbs. That's why it's called crumb coat. If I didn't have this problem, I would just go directly with my deco and not do anything about it. But since I have some gaps here and there, I have to do it. You don't have to add a lot of frosting, so my crumbs are just covered. So I'm just going to practically be doing the same thing all over the cake. And a crumb coat is really cool because, for instance, I have this huge gap. Do you see that? So I can take some frosting just complete or not complete but just make it even help myself to get an even surface by doing the same thing on top just for the same reason especially on the edges you see I'm in a window and there's like this street right next to me so when people walk by they stare because there is a voice, which is mine. Kind of funny. So I'm just going to complete the top for the edges. This is what I do. I just cover them. The whole thing, the whole shebang. So the only advice I would give you, just make sure you grease the pan. It will just get stuck. And you will have to make this crumb coat stuck on my cakes but yeah guys this is pretty much uh, how i would make the crumb coat next step i'm just going to be putting this whole thing on the fridge and i'm just going to wait for this to harden a bit because this frosting is made out of butter and i just want it to be hardened so i can move on with the decorating part and stay tuned for what I'm going to be doing with this cake. 